Start this thing, y'all. With a little bit of hood, so. I know you want it. Like we do every Thursday. So let me we'll start this thing out. With a little bit of hood, so. I know you want me. I know you want me. So let me in. Responsibility and purpose. That's what we're training on tonight. What are your responsibilities? You know, when it's time to talk, I flip it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are your responsibilities? What is your purpose? That's what we're talking. So before we go any further, we got to start the show off right. I want to give a shout out to my executive producer, uh, my wife, Lakeisha. Tonight, you know, she said, drop the bucket on me. So I'm dropping the bucket hat tonight. Yes, hood soul apparel. You know, every hero has a badge of honor. So I just wear mine because it's mine. And I'm a real life hero. So shout out to my executive producer, Lakeisha Perry. Uh, this past week, I've had some good hero training uh, sessions this week with some beautiful people. Uh, I had one today. Shout out to my man, Black. Shout out to my man, Henry. Uh, today, we had a beautiful session. Throughout the week, I've had sessions with my little sister, Elle. Shout out to her. Uh, last weekend, we had a good old family session, a hero session with the Cheeseboros. Shout out to my man, Sam, little Sam, Victoria, Miss Ronnie. You know what I mean? Hey, man, it's been real because we make it real. I say we all we got. We all we need. Each one teach one. If you are that one, I want you to know that you are enough. You understand? And all we intend to do every Thursday at nine or so is to have real conversations about real life situations. And we use real words to grow on. When I say to grow on, I mean these words, man, 
are powerful in understanding, in direction, in strength. And the more and more you understand these words and put them in your thought process, because like I say, in the beginning is the word, the words of your thoughts. That's what creates the mind frame in the narrative of your reality, of your reality. So I want to give a shout out before we go any further to my co-host, Alexa, how you feel tonight? I'm in awe because history was made. What kind? Katanji Brown Jackson has been confirmed as Supreme Court Justice and is the first black woman to hold this title, bringing greater diversity to America's highest court. Mm. You see what my co-host said? My co-host said she feel good because history was made. History was made. The first black woman to be the Supreme Court Justice Judge. That's what my co-host says. She feel good. And I guess my co-host feel good. If you ever wonder, was Alexa black or white? I, you know, hey, I, 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 I roll with the sisters. To play specific songs, you'll need to sign up so for Amazon Music Unlimited Family Plan, which lets you... Alexa, over... let's get this thing started. Alexa, music. what is the meaning of responsibility? Responsibility is usually defined as... The state or fact of being responsible, answerable, or accountable for something within one's power, control, or management. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for responsibility. Alexa, what is the meaning of purpose? As a noun, purpose is usually defined as the reason for which something exists or is done, made, used, etc. As a verb, purpose is usually defined as to set as an aim, intention, or goal for oneself. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for purpose. Now, the reason I chose these two words today is because this morning I had a memory come up. And it struck me, man, when I read it, I said, man, that's deep. And I said, I may, I said this four years ago. So that's a whole nother lesson and conversation within itself. They say, if I knew then what I know now, that's the statement of growth. If I knew then what I know now. So four years ago, I said, a man find his purpose through feeling his responsibilities. A man with no responsibilities has no purpose. Now, I said that four years ago. And this morning, I chewed on it all day to say, what does that mean to me four years later, right? A man finds his purpose through his responsibilities. One more time. Alexa, what is the meaning of responsibilities? Responsibilities is a form of the noun responsibility which is usually defined as the state or fact of being responsible, answerable, or accountable for something within one's power, control, or management. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for responsibility. So this is the power of words. You see how one definition is defined by a group of words. Now within the meaning of responsibility, I heard power, accountability, management. In many more words, you can you, you heard it, but you hear all these type of words that goes into responsibility. So if a man finds his purpose through his responsibilities, and everybody's on the quest to find their purpose and find that niche in it in life, that makes it worth living. That's when you find your purpose and you know you're living in your purpose. It becomes effortless and the output and the, and, and the manifestation of life becomes so beautiful and powerful because you found your groove, right? So but the only way you find your groove and understand this is through your responsibilities. So ask yourself, what are your responsibilities? 
What do you control? What are you accountable for? Accountable for? What do you manage? What and who looks at you for a means of the way in survival and maintaining? See, those are your responsibilities. So as a man, as a husband, as a father, there's no greater responsibilities of mine than my family. So everything I do, every day I rise like the sun. See, the sun rises every day out of darkness. The sun rises every morning out of darkness. Darkness represents the womb. Every morning, the mother of darkness, the moonlight, gives birth to her son. We call it sunset. Sunrise, I mean. And this is synonymous to where you get the word Masons, Martin Sun. So when you understand the power of a man rising every morning, what is his purpose? When a man rises every morning like the sun, his purpose, just like the sun, is to give all that depends and he's responsible for the energy to maintain, sustain, and survive. So I'm responsible for raising my children, keeping my wife in balance, in harmony, in peace, so that she will be at her highest potential to fulfill her purpose through her responsibilities of nurturing her family, cultivating her family from the feminine polarity, right? So within that, I find my purpose because my purpose will make a way for my responsibilities. See how this works. My purpose will make a way for my responsibilities. Now, once I find my purpose, see, I have gifts, tools, weapons, abilities that are invested in me to help me fulfill my purpose, right? So a gift is given with the expectations of nothing in return. So I got a gift. What are some of my gifts? I made a post today about cutting hair. I am gifted at cutting hair. My voice is my gift. I am gifted at building things. I'm gifted at a lot of things. But all my gifts are just weapons in a tool belt, in an armor room, all at my disposal to fulfill my purpose. See, this is my purpose. That's why I wear it on my shirt every day. I ain't nothing but a real other cycle that come here to keep it going. Alexa, what is the meaning of purpose? As a noun, purpose is usually defined as the reason for which something exists or is done, made, used, etc. As a verb, purpose is usually defined as to set as an aim, intention, or goal for oneself. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for purpose. It say the reason something is used. Like I told you, my gifts help me fulfill my purpose. So if I got all these gifts and they mean nothing to me unless I give them or unless I use them or somebody uses me, 
And we all want to be used. We all need to be used. Just don't misuse me or abuse me. So every situation that I get in and put myself in to use my gift or my gifts to be used as a means of survival, as a means of creating a, a source or resource to take care of my responsibilities. See, I'm living in my purpose, man. All of that type of thing. And when you get this, when you get this, and you live by this, and you work it, because you understand how it works. I always say, you got to understand how it works to work it. If you don't understand how it works, then you're probably getting worked by it. But if you understand how it works, see, you work it. And when you work it, man, when you find your purpose as a mean of your responsibilities, people say, good God Almighty, he or she glowing. Man, they make it look easy. Ooh, we, they blessed. They say all these things. He in tune with it. She in tune with it. So it's kind of like a word equation. You see what I'm saying? Everything is like mathematics. It's like word equations. Purpose plus responsibility. Equals. See how they work. You see how they work. Yeah, uh, if you're on another night, man, show me some love, man. Poke your head out. Poke your head out. You know what I mean? The night I saw a lot, of, you know, this week, man, I, I saw a lot of things, and I've been wrestling on what kind of words I want to use. You know, I talk about so much all week, and one day I say, man, I'm going to do my show on this word. And the next would be this word. And the next would be that word. Because there's so many powerful words that we need to understand, man, to empower ourselves. You understand what I'm saying? It's just like a word pool, man. What kind of words in your mind? Take out all the words that ain't got no type of uh, connotation of power, growth, love, balance, peace. Take them goddamn words out. It's just like a garden. Every day you wake up, you got to weed out your garden. When you wake up and you start hearing words in your thought that's associated with doubt, fear, all the things that make you stagnant in life, man, and make you feel like you ain't progressing. You got to weed them out and replace them with new powerful words. Because the more you replace them with new powerful words, those words are like seeds and those words grow a harvest. Like when I say, what is the meaning of purpose? When you listen to the meaning, do you see the words, the spells that make up the meaning of purpose? So when you put that in your, in your garden and you wake up and you have uh, no moments of thoughts to yourself and you ask yourself, am I living in my purpose? Am I on a path to my purpose? Just saying that in your mind, open up doors of realness. But a man that has no responsibilities has no purpose. Now you see that in life. Just like, man, I tell you, man, I ain't never gave a damn about dope boy shine. That's weakness to me. That's weakness to me. See, in those dope boy shining type of movies, realities, circumstances. One of the things that was built into that was they always built the way they shine as a means to escape responsibility. 
They never had shit in their name. They never put themselves in position to be accountable if things go wrong. So they keep a flunky around. They keep somebody that they play on and make them think, goddamn, they're good. They really say, a go for, go for any goddamn thing. So they always elude their responsibility. You see what I'm saying? So when they lose their responsibility and they make all this money, you see what I'm saying? And they doing dumb shit that ain't tied to no purpose. They say, damn, he got all that money. He dried his. But he ain't never bought no house. He ain't never goddamn been a real father to his kids. He ain't never done a lot of shit but shine on pointless shit with no purpose. All because that creates from a mentality of evading responsibility. So I don't care if you ain't got a lot at all. But you're real about your responsibilities. And you fight your fight the best way you can. With all intentions to win. And be responsible and accountable for all the things that you manage control, provides. So you will find your purpose, man. You will find your groove. You will find your gifts. It all start clicking. All because you be thinking about certain words. You be thinking about certain words. You know, Earlier this week, I thought I was going to do it on confidence, right? And I'm going to do it later, but I'm going to talk a little bit about it. And the reason I didn't do it because I was, I was coming at it in a backwards way. That sometimes I feel like some words be so real, man. It's too real to do on this here camera. This is going to be that real life hero training, man. This is the shit that I can't record and I can't sit here and look in this thing and really talk to myself. Some shit got to be felt in real life. But I'm going to deal with it a little bit. Alexa, what is the meaning of confidence? Confidence is usually defined as full trust, belief in the powers, trustworthiness, or reliability of a person or thing. For more... Ask me to give you more definitions for confidence. Alexa, what is the meaning of self-confidence? According to Wikipedia, confidence is a state of being clear-headed either that a hypothesis or prediction is correct or that a chosen course of action is the best or most effective. Confidence comes from a Latin word fidere, which means to trust. Therefore, having self-confidence is having trust in oneself. Having trust in oneself. But when I kept hearing the word confidence, I kept wanting to associate the word con man with it. And I said, that's deep there, man. Why the hell con man keep coming with confidence? So I, found, I, I got to think about a con man. And a con man is somebody that spots the insecurities of, of another through their eyes and vibration. And when they see those insecurities, they become confident in their ability to know that this person is so unsure that all they got to be met with is some sureness and they can be persuaded to do any goddamn. And that's where they say, I'm a confident man. I'm a confident man that I can blow this shit on you. And if you ain't real, and like they say, see the big bad wolf. See, see, this is how deep shit is. We done heard the story of the three little pigs and all that type of shit. See, the big bad wolf say, um, uh, 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 he come blow the house made of sticks down. Blow the house made of hay down. But when he come to the brick house, he can't blow it down because it's made of something. So a con man, a con man's 
power of persuasion is identifying somebody without none. See how that shit works. Do you see how that works? So in the very same way, I'm showing you how it works in a negative type way, in an advantage type way. See, it works the very same way in a positive way. If I'm confident and sure of my abilities, I can show you better than I can tell you. What's up, brother? What's up, Junior? I love you, man. Thank you for tuning in, man. Each one teach one. Each one reach one. You the first one poke your head out. And I'm going to tell you right now, bro, you enough. If I don't talk to now another motherfucker tonight, you enough. And I love you. For real. But yeah, Alexa, what is the meaning of ability? Ability is usually defined as power or capacity to do or act physically, mentally, legally, morally, financially, etc. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for ability. Heard all them words associated with ability? So what are your abilities? What kind of abilities? The power, the, the capacity of having power in a mental, physical way, ability. See, when you got responsibilities, when you got responsibilities, they become Govern, nurture, sustain through your abilities. And when you're doing some shit, for your responsibility's sake, you do it on purpose. You do it on purpose. On purpose. It ain't no coincidence. I don't pay my mortgage every month by coincidence. Oh man, I just fucked around and had enough money to pay my bills. No, I wake up every day, man, with a purpose and a means. That's a part of my responsibility to have a secure home for my wife and my children. And for them to feel secure while they in that home. See, as a father, as a husband, that's my responsibility. So I rise every day to use every ounce of my abilities on purpose to take care of my responsibility. See how that shit sounds? It can't be complicated. It can't be complicated. It's simple as you, they say, they say, man, life is like a woman and a woman loves to be kissed. So you got to kiss life and make her feel like a woman. Now kiss, in life means keep it simple and sweet. Keep it simple and sweet. Life is like mathematics. Two plus two equal four. Four plus four equal eight. So you don't think and you don't have to hesitate to respond and react to simple math. You're confident in your response to simple math. You're confident in your ability to add those numbers up and give the equation. What's five plus five, 10? You can put it there with a buzzer. What's five plus five, 10? Goddamn, got them, I'm gonna beat you. What if you say, what's five times 85 divided by three, <laughs> multiplied by four? Ah, you ain't too confident. And the more you lack confidence, see, a con man can come around you and don't know a goddamn thing neither. 
But he know you don't know. And he know you unsure. And he come around and say 42. And you say, damn, he's smart. He wrong as hell. But you might not even know. Because you are, <laughs> you a victim of his confidence. Now he a con man. And the only way that happens is because you lack confidence, right? You lack it. So life is like mathematics. Keep it simple and sweet. Kiss it. And you'll always be powerful in your actions, in your reactions, in your abilities, in your intent, in your responsibilities. Why you do that? For this. Ain't nothing to figure out. Ain't nothing to figure out. But yeah, man. I feel good tonight. You know? I feel good. And uh, I know I came on kind of late. Like I say, uh, my executive producer told me, she say, baby, I think you need to wear the bucket tonight. I say, I need to wear the bucket. So I went and got me an old bucket. You know what I mean? <laughs> went and got me an old bucket, man. And I love it, too. I love it. Yes, yes, Lord, I love it. I love it. So we're going to get out of here, man. We're going to get out of here tonight. We're going to get out of here with, a, with, with another hood soul hymn. You know what I mean? And this song is real, man. You know, like I say, man. Uh, if I knew then what I know now, say that to yourself. If I knew then what I know now, and pick a point in your life, whenever then was. I don't give a damn if it was last week. Pick a point in your life, in your imaginations. Go there. Travel there. So if I knew then what I know now, and when you realize now, you know a whole lot more and you handle that different and been a whole nother reality. That's the sign of growth. That's the evidence of you living in your purpose. Because when you're living in your purpose, you get in tune with a lot of things. And when you're in tune with a lot of things and you're being nourished and nurtured and given all the elements to maintain and sustain, See, one of the one of one 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 of the uh, 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 results of that is you grow. You grow. So when you know you're grown, and you can look at a mob from here and realize you're grown there, you say, "Good God, oh my! I gotta tell somebody." Not only physically, mentally, spiritually. There's many ways to grow. But you got to know, man, when you're growing and how you're growing. So I'm going to get out of here with some more hood soul him tonight. And I hope, God damn, I hope. I hope. Yeah, I always have to do this right here, y'all. But we're going to get out of here on this don't here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Junior, you still on here, man? I thank you, man. I thank you for watching, man. And if you're watching with the greatest mother-in-law in the world, I want to give a shout-out to my mother-in-law, Miss Gray. Miss Gray, I love you. You know what I mean? I want to give you a big old shout-out tonight on tonight's show. Miss Laverne Gray, I want to let her know she's the greatest mother-in-law in the whole wide world because she mine. And that's how we're going to do that. And we're going to go out like this. We're going to go out like this. Yeah.
It's that hood and soul shit, man. It ain't nothing but a hero here, man. Yeah. Check me out, man. trying to get too official with it, you know what I mean? I 
ain't trying to be too structured with it, man. I ain't trying to be too smart with it, man. I ain't trying to make this. I'm just trying to kiss it. Make it simple and sweet. Because I really want you to get it. And when you get it, that's half the battle. When you get it, you got to use it. You got to work it. There's certain things I got, but I still struggle. But I'm still growing. And I'm still learning. And I'm still training to learn how to work it, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm better than I used to be. I no longer let small things get to me. I realize that I'm my own worst enemy. So I move out my own way. Move out my own way, man. I love y'all. Then I guess into a better me. A strong belief in everything that I need to be. So I can stand in the mirror and see. I have grown into a better me. I'm better than the one you used to be. I have grown 